There's no election. And indeed, the whole purpose of procuring equipment and reducing human intervention and all that, and improving transparency and using IT, the whole purpose is that the underlying factor is that human beings cannot be trusted in the elections. That is the bottom line. Because why? If we all believe that we can trust ourselves, why do we need a voter's register? Every Ghanaian can be trusted. The Electoral Commission can be trusted. So we expect that anybody at age 18 and above will walk to a polling station and then demand the ballot paper and cast their votes and walk away because we trust that they will be speaking the truth. It is because we cannot trust ourselves. That's why we uh, resort to uh, equipment and IT systems to help us to reduce reliance on human trust. Ladies and gentlemen, we didn't end there. We petitioned the Speaker of Parliament to constitute an independent bipartisan investigation into the matter of stolen biometric equipment of the Electoral Commission of Ghana. We all know that Parliament has had to go on break abruptly. So again, not much progress has been made along that path. Ladies and gentlemen, the NDC has always been suspicious that the stolen kits could be used to illegally register some people in order to add them to the voters' register to enable them to vote on December 7, 2024. That remains our suspicion. And that underlines all the precautionary measures we are trying to take to forestall that one and give everybody peace of mind, including the Electoral Commission and the new patriotic party that is in government. I have made a point <laughs> that if a, a thief enters a house and steals some items and walk away, while well, the house owner is keeping bulldogs, and you don't hear any barking from any of the bulldogs, you know that the thief is the relative of the house owner <laughs> who has been coming to the house frequently. So the dogs will have no reason to bark because the thief is a part owner of the house. If hardware can be stolen under CCTV surveillance, why not an activation code? We all know that in the past, the officers on the field were allowed to activate the registration kits. Today, as we speak to you, all that has been centralized. If it is centralized, it tells you that it is the electoral commission at their headquarters alone that can provide their activation, that can do the activation and send the codes. It was evident on the first day of registration, up to 12 noon, many of the registration centers had not had the activation code, so they couldn't work. So if 
EC is the only body that provides the activation codes. And some of the kids are missing. And they come to tell you that, oh, don't mind. Without their activation, they are useless. Who does the activation? If you are keeping those codes in, say, Togo or somewhere, Burkina Faso, or in some houses, and you, are, and you do your activation and send your codes to the thief who is a relative, how are we supposed to know? So we have then decided that to put a check on those things. If we don't know or cannot identify the kids that are stolen, at least those that are in use today, can be identified and tracked so that we know the identity of the kids that are being used in this registration exercise. Faced with this imminent threat of a compromised voters register, we adopted a precautionary measure going into the limited registration exercise. And that is why the NDC tax its registration agents across the country to record the serial numbers of all BVD kits, a BVR kits, that will be deployed by the Electoral Commission. And the logic is simple. You have so many registration kits. You claim some thief has stolen some of them, whose identity you refuse to disclose to us. So we can track them when we see them somewhere. Now, if we say that, OK, if we cannot track those that are missing, at least we can track those that are in use now. So that when we know those that are in use, then data from any other equipment that is not in use in our registration centers here would then be rejected as fraudulent data that is coming from elsewhere. Now that to you say no way. We will allow you to take and tr uh, to take the serial numbers and track the equipment that is being used in this country. What is the reason? As I have said earlier, among other things, the essence of recording the serial numbers of the BVR kits will help us trace, identify, and match every registration data emanating from a specific district or electoral area. The serial numbers will also help us track all unauthorized personnel who operate the BVR kits in an electoral area. This will forestall any clandestine registration aim at contaminating the voters' register. We are determined to ring fence the threat and risks for the 2024 elections by documenting the serial numbers of each BVR kit that will be used in this registration exercise. Our agents also have our firm instructions that if BVR kits malfunction and are replaced during registration, they should duly record the serial numbers of the new BVR kits and the date and time of their use. Ladies and gentlemen, we are utterly surprised that this precautionary measure, simple as it may be, taken by the NDC, is being resisted fiercely by the Electoral Commission. For whatever purpose, nobody knows. Why is the EC resisting, the stopping, uh, resisting and stopping 
NDC registration agents from recording the serial numbers of biometric voter registration kits. Why? The question is, what does the EC have to hide? What is their fear over the mere recording of the serial numbers of these BVR kits? Knowing very well, some have been stolen under your watch. Some have been stolen under your watch. We say, let us track and protect those that are yet to be stolen. And you are resisting. Are you not part of the thieves? <laughs> Is there something they are hiding from the public? Will our precautionary measure not prevent the criminals who stole the BVR kit from using them to illegally register people? If the EC has nothing to hide, they should just allow all willing political parties to record the serial numbers of BVR kits during this limited voter registration exercise. Friends from the media, on election day, serial numbers of biometric verification devices are recorded on the statement of pool, commonly called pin sheets. Is that not the case? Agents of political parties have access to the serial numbers of BVDs. So why stop the recording of serial numbers of BVR kits? Those who may not understand this, the biometric voter registration kit is what is being used now to capture the data of persons of registrable age. In other words, to help us compile the voters register. During election, in order to ensure that the same people who were registered are the very people who will be voting, we upload these registers onto the BVD, biometric verification devices. The data that is being captured with the BVRs is uploaded onto the BVDs and taken to the polling stations where their particulars are used to verify whether they are the same people who were registered on that day. Now, we are allowed access to the serial numbers of the biometric verification devices that are used in the conduct of the elections at the polling stations. If we are saying that, let us now identify the, the kits that are used to capture the register in the first place, and you say no. What it means is that you, you alone will determine <laughs> which people to capture, which machines to be used, and nobody can track it. So you can add names there. And once the names are already inside, when you upload them onto the verification kits and the people turn out to vote, even if they come as Togolese or Burkinabes or Ivorians, the law does not prevent them from voting once their names are already inside. So we are saying, let us have a handle on the equipment that is being used to capture the register. Then we can trace where each of the equipments will be operating. So that 
if we find an equipment that has captured data and it is not in the stock that has been deployed across the country, we can raise questions. Is that not a transparency measure that will improve the credibility of the voters' register and, by extension, the credibility of the Electoral Commission itself, if they are interested in building any credibility at all? Members of the <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we do not expect the Electoral Commission of Ghana to act as the conduit through which Akufuado will implement his avowed determination not to hand over power to the visionary, experienced, and trustworthy John Dramani Mahama. MPP must choose peaceful transfer of power from the MPP president to the National Democratic Congress in their own interest. The 2024 elections will not be business as usual. The EC must set up the EC must answer the 35 questions posed by the NDC on the stolen biometric equipment. And the EC has no option but to allow our agents to record the serial numbers of the BVR kits deployed for this registration exercise if they have nothing to hide. Improved Transparency, ladies and gentlemen, is beneficial to all stakeholders. But above all, it enhances the credibility of the elections administration body, which in our case is the Electoral Commission of Ghana. Finally, let me use this opportunity to repeal our call to the Ghanaian population, particularly through the civil society organizations, chiefs, opinion leaders, leaders of faith-based organizations, etc., etc., to join us to demand more transparency and fairness, which is a necessary precondition for peaceful elections. Anybody who is interested in peaceful elections must begin demanding transparency and fairness in the elections. You don't sleep over injustice and then come around to call the one who is being treated unfairly to secure peace for the country. We shall not be the victims of peace. If we all want peace, let us work towards peace. And the beginning point is to ensure that there is fairness. If there is fairness, everybody would be comfortable. Those that are defeated will accept. And those that win, will be happy because they worked for the victory. And the totality of Ghanaian population will be happy because they have had the opportunity to exercise their inalienable right of self-determination, i.e. to choose their own leaders. Before I sit down, I want to address uh, a release that we just had when we were working to this uh, to address this press conference from the Electoral Commission. Yeah. 
we get the impression that they were trying to preempt this press conference by answering questions that have not been asked yet. <laughs> <laughs> and because they did not have the patience to listen to the questions, they are bound to make mistakes in their answers. For the purpose of those who have not read it, I'd like to make a few references. The Electoral Commission wishes to address the NDC's request for serial numbers of biometric voter registration kits currently deployed in the field for the limited voter registration exercise. The Commission wishes to highlight that the integrity and security of our electoral process are paramount. Each BVR kit, as a critical component of this process, is assigned a unique serial number. This number plays a crucial role in the operation of these devices, particularly in the generation of activation codes essential for their functionality as well as tracking the location of their movement. Releasing these serial numbers to any external parties, including political entities, poses substantial risks to the security and integrity of our electro el registration process. That is why this has never been done since biometric voting system was introduced in Ghana. The specific risks are as follows. And I'll take the risks one by one and prove to you how hollow the, uh, the, this response is. First, compromise kit security. The serial numbers are integral to the security framework of BVR kits. Disclosure of these numbers could potentially allow unauthorized access to the devices, thereby compromising integrity of the voter registration process. What about the stolen ones? Were they not stolen together with their serial numbers? <laughs> and when the thieves entered there, didn't they have opportunity to even pick as many serial numbers as possible from those they couldn't carry away? And the same commission is telling us that we shouldn't mind. The kids are mere kids. If they are not activated, they cannot be used for anything. Well, you do your activation. We are not asking you to give us the code to register, to activate. We said, let's see it and copy the number. The same way the thieves who have stolen these ones are uh, 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 in, 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 in the know of the numbers. So you see, they are shooting themselves down. So is the Electoral Commission maintaining that the serial numbers pose security risks to the integrity of the whole system. And if so, how can the same math be telling us that we shouldn't mind? Because after all, those that have been stolen by thieves are of no consequences if they are not activated. Or they are telling us that if you are NDC and you pick the serial number, it is dangerous. If you are a thief and you pick the serial number, it's safe. <laughs> These are the people you have there when you are paying them. <laughs> Targeted manipulation of kids, number two. Knowledge of the serial numbers could enable targeted attacks on specific BVR kits located at certain parts of the country, thereby causing chaos, political conflict, 
and operational challenges. Why? If the people down there know always the serial numbers of BVD kits that are there, and that one has no post in the operational challenge. How would the serial number of the counterpart that is used to capture the data pose a security risk? Ladies and gentlemen, if somebody picks the serial number or whatever you call it for on your mobile phone, huh? Does it mean that that person has access to everything on your phone? So what are they trying to tell us? So the fact that you pick a serial number means that you have access to their data, you have access to everything they are doing. When you yourself are telling us that if you are holding the whole kit with his serial number embossed on it, and you don't activate it, it's of no use. So are they saying that if you are not holding the whole kit, you steal the serial number, it is dangerous. But if you steal the whole thing, it's not dangerous. Then <laughs> they come again and say that Serial numbers should be used to facilitate, could be used to facilitate fraudulent activities, including phishing attacks, where a criminal with the serial number can trick EC personnel into believing they are registration officials, potentially <laughs> leading to unauthorized disclosures and access to sensitive information. Are they saying that? The EC itself does not know the person, the identity of the person they are using. So that somebody, when he has a number, can now come and say, I am the one you have recruited, so I am so and so registration agent here. You see? And then operational integrity and all the other. They come now to repeat what we know already that things that are used to ensure integrity means gazetting of centers, uh, pulling agent oversight, detailed reporting, provisional register, final register, and so on and so on. Were all these things not there when you decided to introduce biometric system of registration and biometric verification devices? Or once upon a time, we didn't have party agents. That's why we introduced biometric verification. So my simple answer to them is that, Madam Jim Mensa, your release is not worth the cost of the paper it was written on. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll now pause for questions if you have any. Oh. Today I won't do chi, I'll do ga. <laughs> oh, okay, you are, you are right, you are right. I don't speak guy on Thursdays. I wish I had four dents here. Yabba Munim, a way, and it's a Abatua, a Babe Koso. A year December 2024, a few years ago. Me did say, A year Obia Gan and Nibia, a dear Yano number one. A Sabaton. A sign a hochre, a near Mamu Bonia, Yetimu. A yinna so, Yaria Tasso say, Yempe soja Mamu, Yempeku de ta. And tis a Yempeku de ta, dear, Nadia Yetimu Yempa, Nay Cocumutier. Unquana, ye bit me a fatuna, a dear Kajamuni, a timia sisa, a bamonia, yempe. 
In fact, the NTR can be mammy, can be a mammo. Add that chain. So, yeah, now, mammo, I hold a can on the say. You say, Oh, Timamu for no, and they want to me say, One more, a bear pow, nipa, a bid you almost. And now, I'm bid you a morning. Na a drew baby a yashe a bina juma and fear na be a be carry a bina juma here. Na ye carry her and fear na no. Tima mufuano benya quenya. I say a carry a bina her say. So a juma ya a de ma a bay and fear na a chummy. Why no ye, said the epe. Same way ania. Near to Anno, so say, on San Tuasso. Same way, there be young Presoa. Let's say, a bread you say, your best sign as a son, a bino. Nabusia for Quire, your fast so say, son, a bino. And also, ye, a dear Bacqua, Emma, so ya, Mamu. And a cabima minka be a mamu a danso. If we say so, ya mamu de de obey to me, or no, be to you, no, I be too a free or no, no, I be far conyano. Satima move for Peninsula and Peninsula, or no, not to me and Pamon de Oho. No, I be dear conyano. Yasoni be a hair, see him. And I say. Kabi mami mkan biya mamuwa. Yene ya nkasa. Yebe kuta ye tu miya. Yede be pao ni pao omu bedi ye nim. Na yede tu mi no ma omu se omu fa nye juma. No ma ino nkona nim ni ya honto ye. Ni ya reno emfye na ya. Ni ya ya nsore. Se omu pa se se omu be tina hoa. Ni ya ma omu a tina ho. Neche se efri ya ye pim. Ena omu be tina ho. Enti so bika se. Democracy, ana kabima mi kan bi amamu obi wo ba bi a enye nipa no pe ene ma abai no te so a se no hu bibia ni ho a ye fra no democracy a enye nipa no ene pa wo mo abai ene bibia ni ho a ye fra no democracy a se e wo mu se wo na wa pa abai no atena ho na e bredru na opesa o se san abai no Na ye be si kwa se ye ma on se sano. Sa abre no, na kabi mami kabi no. A se sa efri, sa demokrasi no, eko atutra se mama mumu. E nun ti na ama abato we hu hi a yen. Efri se, aban fwa ye vi fe mu nyi na nim se gana fwa bo nyo. Aban we ni na juma hon. Na nipa democracy bia nipa obeji na wo midwife eya electoral commission enu nti wo mu de adwuma ne se ye bewe ni ama akwanya ya ye nhihye se amamfo wo mu pe ebebam ni ahunu se ye pa ban we on tena ho ye pa ban we on so Kwa ya omde fasu ne abato. Enti sa abato biya o demokrasi muna e muna hwa. Neche se e didi kabi mami kabi ya mamu nu nina ase. Na se kabi mami kabi ya mamu ye didi ase ya akwa kono ba mwa. Neche se e bewu ya anono. Enunti gana ni biya na nije kabi mami kabi ya mamu hono. Ya na na nidi abatu echi ene nshishea ya di bekwa abatu wa se mu beda ho na ya tu abano wa ni nsunsu wa nsobi ya befri mu abano ya beti miya si ya buse ya yes ya gana fwoni ya di yaba ya siso e basa na se abano so teswa ono so beka ya se obi ene di tu mina mame enti me di tu minu ya juma debi ya ese meka ya se me master biwa hua amibu akonta achireno 
Na mbibuwa kontano na mko ya obeti meaji ni tumi afriensam. Enu ni democracy. Enti ya bushu ya fuo. Afia batu wa eba abe baso no. Na isi seba kuwa edi kani di nchure ya. Asha asia ya chure. Na mwje tu mse ansana di nchure ya eba baso. Ya kase. Ya tese. Mfidia. Ya di chure di. Ni ya di bitu wa banu. Ibi aira. Huhu huhu biba ase ibi aira. Enti parliament ifre letra commission fuo. Ewo bibi fufro hon. Na wamu nkuta hudie mwa ni eto to. Commission fuo nwa nwa ne chese. Ebe de di se. Enfidia edi chule di ino. Ebi aira. Di edi tuwa badon sokura ebi su aira. Enti. Okunini ato fosin. Ebe yen sentro fonshi emu edi tuja se. Ase mwa si. Ase si ewe hoye. Biko mfidi ya edi tuwa bano. Enye mfidi hunu biya akwa. Enti se biya ira. Ni pa. Obe so se ya mfidi ya numbi ya biti midi ya dibone. Ena iletra komishin. Edi mwa ye ba se. Di oka nwe nye no kure. Na first of all, I said they did two abba, no one na ira. And the electoral commission for na kasa beka say, "Enya no kure, enya they did two abba no, na ira." Na mo they did two abba no, enu mumbi na ira. Eni si, enu kura they, enu asam so chain, they did two abba no. Because the edi chwe di no, enu na obe timi di a chwe ni pa, wamo nye gana fuwa kura edi, ukwa kwa kwa kukuwe bimu nu wa chwe, na di aba abe kan hon, unye di ni di ni be kan hon, aba tu odru soa, ese so okoto, uye ni bibi ya enye ye, inti ya no kura na, e hwa se miya, inti ya fre, IPAC meeting, se yonko simko, nyo ane ya nche, di esye, inti, IPAC meeting na, si di e pie mu hona che se, Ezamu amadi kaa kanu ni la njia nakre. Wamu na amadi kaa kache gani fose? Di ede tu aba, aye BVD si no di, ibia ni la. Nemu di ede chuo di nuno ni biya ira. Wamu kwa IPAC meeting, akoda di se, both di ede tu aba nubi ira, di ede chuo di nuno so ibi swa ira. That's it, yeah. Enti, ye, kwa nchirefwa, oya abatu uhoye juma, Dr. Omanibu Ama. Ubisa, ense maku, 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 edwya senum, efane emana, ayirano ho. So, umuti mi yi anon dia, neche se, ya juni mumbeye, efane se, bibi anto, chima, ni ekotu abanoa, ya warese muse, ubinti minko uye mo. Oka anu miti na se wamo ka se wamo mba jine huna wamo di muayaba. Obe duru fie, ane ya se debi. A chinye nti ni ye kumu nso nkru nso a, ye huya fe. Enye sa, obi ba ka se te freba. Nti, nti ya nchwe, enfa ngu krata aso mfa nko ma omu. Ane ya chile gu krata aso, edi ko ma omu. Ya se ya chile ko ma, speaker of parliament. Se onti ba so fwo kwo, MPP fwo wum, NDC fwo wum. Na yen tra si yen ni sa ane mana omu se a irano, e chi, ni yon hunu. Se e ya di a, e be ha ya batu ono anan, se yen ha ya batu ono. Ni nina mwa e bi a nyamay, palmenti so, ako reses. E bre so asun se ye chile din. Ani asya, ye yen ti min stop u din chile no. Ne mwum. Shuyen huwa chile ye se, se e se se ou ni o bronsam di dia, sa sa bronsam di dia, e se ou ma wa tire nou ye ten ten. En te sa e, ti e ti a se ne di e noua, ou si ou tira se se ou ti bi a ou bit mi an tu a se oso. En ti e di e, 
about two mu ya bema ya three nine ten ten pa chance as a brand sam dien. Enti Yamrantia Yatiti or Munina ne case. En fidia de trading yesi bi aira. Yes you si yes you su se kwanye fa so yira ya eye camera sinyina cctv camera sinyina wo electoral commission ho so jafo wo ho amoka si electoral commission nim ho da bia na kromfo betimi ambe fa ho ako wura ba bia ne maigu a camera no ntimi nchi obi a no be kwa ko wi ade e ya ade a emu awrem se jidi se Samuti fi na kromfo be wi ade na krama empo a e se se fi ewura ni nua ne kromfo enu nti e se se e fe hu ye na nema num na enso ana se se ai se ayira no ye be fe se obi mfa nko hye kuku amba bi no mfa ntwere din no bi emfa megu voters register no abishan fo Ye go so, ye yes, Adi. A dear Bakwa, ye yes, ye ya. A beboy, and say, said the Ayrano, na ye nim, and when ye call ye car say, let our commission cram fa numbers, as shall so dear, and what the Ayrano, huh, a Syrian no mano. Near who say, Machins, Ayrano, Syrian no ma we, Ayra, and to be a hunuber, be a a a crono de and fine yajuma. We are so be a woman by be a air crono de China be see a woman say Safi de no culture de be near the abba electronic for a bit me who say Sa a dear abba no in free in fidia ya deploy no no properly say in fine trading no be seen there and also in Syria no more de be Oman Oman farmer Ghana for more be ante Adaya. Omo se se sam fidie no se obi afa bi kura no a ehun ni mfaso na womo no ewo safo bi aye di bie enti se womo amie na ekuta obi a onti mi mfa ni bo ni bia ana se a safo amu di bie mo nko aso na ekuta mo enti se munu anu bi na be fa akoshe ba bi aye be twere di money a be gum Nessa se wo mu ye mu nua no munti mu bie e ma wo mu na wo mu twira ye ye ndi si headquarters ya ye be da hu se mo bie bi bisa wo mu twira so e be bam enu nti se sa na tie de a de mu di kwa ko ye djuma no ye so ya ma ye nipa no nyina ntete ye se ba bi bia wo mu de afide no bi e ye djuma aye twire din no Yen she na na she nso de no nso yen yen copy Syria no ma e wo so ne mu nu se se afide e wi e ye properly deployed e wo proper and legal registration center electoral commission mo gazette na ye nya ni nyina e be ma ye abutoyamu ama ye jidi a e wo sa adwumade no mu Akosoro, because you bet me who say at least the Ira na yenimwa, the yedi ya juma the yenim. Enti you bet me who say Obi anti me mfa the Ira no bim koye a juma boni biya mfa hong sun sun so megu register no. Asemu itia 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 itia. Yedi yenim say asemu ensa say ya asembiya. Ebe ha Obi ajwe because electoral commission. One man kasa say let the people know. Some of your press conferences we are on free frame. Echo can send them or say let the people know. Now let the people know. Near say registration kit in the numbers is so mumi and also bunny by the womb. Now said the yes, 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 Mummy, I have now seen one man in Fasa, eh, I'm to show no yard, you my dear. Then I just say, 
kromfo be fa muni ano no muni no enu nti enu a ye nipa wo mo copy sa numbers no ko wo mo copy a e de ba e de fam from amuba na director ba ko asante manta mu se ono de on preso e ma wo mo copy sa ne ma no I want some by the Baha. I feel commissioned Penning for say, Yer cranky, you refit. As I say, yer, 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 the Kahuan Sem Kakrebi and the Edit two and from Mumu said, Ne, the Vishi and Yaka wants him. A year one more day say, Yeba Bay press conference. A year, I ever know Mudi, Crata, Abba say, Womo Pese or Mo Church, the Dientia, eh, and say, Womo Ma and DC four quine. Na, ye copy Syria no messen. Edna Crater and Moon Sermon, so than Latte Bessie Pinso. A fade yet. One more reason, they say. BV Arno, the number I see a copy no. Say a kayan, sir. A cow be answer, obey me, dear Dibonny. Nessie Bo. And so no I ran no. E kono ma pupa no manuana. Because so no I ran. Eni ni no mensi ni ya. Kwanza no be we ura ho no. Said the go ho no kura no. Oti mi kope no mensi no. Because kaya o CCTV kura e wo ha. Nkenze se kwanza obi ti mi wia dia wabra yungu. And the more so no more bad can't say 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 be ra with the numbers here what soon you know say more more activity a hundred fast work. And you say okay the more you soon know the number na e the copy the car say e na e be activity. I didn't know the copy and no number there. I feel more say you are more one can say be with the number no. E kutawa e who. Because we bet me the iron the mouth of data no. The iron also the number confirm no the call. Any number be all the call. All be fan so man can we have be fan call. Yeah, cause I know we bet me the BB a be a compromise data. Now most data no the BB and me ni no sabi because we activity. Enti de ya na juma na sem na mpe semu kachere gana fu. Enti ya di. Yes, you should be a P. Say, Sir, no mercy, no dear. As I say, you be copy no ne, a copy no china. Near Hulu, a fidia bia, a modi a juma. Ewa be a bia, a ne faqua, ye de a juma. Said the abaya, ye we now a modi. Register, draft register, no brea. Ye bet me a woman say. Sadi inu nina ya register anu wogana ha. Ewa registration centers ya. Womu ankasa agezeti se hane ebe registration. Ansana ya jia tumse register no. Eye register papa. Kia ntra homu ubi nkukuma no ma. E nchua niti nchua ni nain tutu ni takra. Nodi abechile ya se anu mabi ini. And in Tina, ye per se, Ghana forty. Tima move for Muna Musi are buying, Muna Mutu are buying. As I said, Moti de Ecoso. Ye papa no university professor for ne civil society organizations are so for and then anonymous him for. A car crash, I break crowd much as here. Then your peace gala for peaceful election. Then your peace march for peaceful election. 
Bajonia match and Nangala and volleyball, and my elections here peaceful. No credit any prayer prayer, any say a Juma electoral commission bay about to move better. No, some of the man no a two movie. Now, electoral commission, yeah, at the papa. Moon here, some of the car coaches, Jesse Bia say, and Cobo peace match. Moon here, say, a back all for special fasting and prayers, Bia say, at the peaceful election, Baba. In this abri, say work and pray. The papa no so for kukudam. Mo mo papa say ebo bom pa ya ya come chin for peaceful election no. Mo nka bi ne. Ebre nu dru na mo fra e nya be ba be kan ho ya come chin bom pa ye say the peaceful election ba. Because yan kopon o de nyan sa amaye o de nim de amaye. Say him for your juma. A juma Yame or the who Nim de any two me amount say yeno. Un yan to ho, no quack of friend who say or no may amount. Uye de obey to me, dear wound to me no, no bomb pie a friend, yammy say, yammy had ye, me nim de and ruho, wound him say, oh, bomb me one fan come home. In tea, hot ye, boam and I no come dear my yeno, na I am conning. In Tabushan for Yaka, a country agent. Your country, Mame, Jemansa. So, her money more. She had no year. Nakamano, sir. Quite be a hundred super fast to say, let's see a move at the Hono, a move at the Hono. Yet the moon, you say, my trance is so be was a Mr. Bill between them. Thank you very much. So this um, is time for questions, and this is strictly for the media. If you have any question, kindly move to my right. Let's also avoid crossing the cameras. And Perry will help you out with a microphone. You mentioned your station, and then your questions follow. Let's it be brief. All right. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Marwin. I work with TV3. Um, General, the Electoral Commission, when the minority leader raised the allegations of missing BVDs, flatly denied that any such machines had gone missing. Is it the case that they have confirmed to you at an IPAC meeting? Because they released a statement stating that it was just laptops that went missing. And in your statement, are you alluding that you've already begun collecting the serial number data, but you hit a snag yesterday, reason for which you're addressing the media? And when you say you're going to find any ways to record it, what exactly do you mean? Okay, thank you very much. Okay. General, if I'm not going to check you, I'm top radio. And any day, I'm going to talk to you, 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 and this is my so far. Send a move on if I Thank you. Yeah, Michael, join news. Um, so first of all, the, yesterday there was a release from the EC instructing some of their people who are having challenges to switch to the manual mode. Is that something that they have agreed with you? What do you make of that decision? And again, there have been uh, questions about busing people from one constituency to another. How do you respond to that? And then finally, that we understand that there were some arrests in the Ashanti region. Are these people your people, or has it come to your attention? What is the NDC doing about it? Thank you. Next. OK, so just after we are not going for a second round. So if this is the last one, then we can invite our national chairman. All right, chairman. Is anybody asking? Any other question? Yes, sir. Uh, Chairman. Offline, no. busting of people, Bastion. and then arrest in the Ashanti region. I'm going to confuse with version 1 FM. Sir, I'm going to ask the electoral commission and I'm going to ask you to ask you serial numbers. I'm going to ask you to ask you to ask you to ask you. Okay, thank you very much. So that adds up to number four. So the first one, uh, missing DVDs. 
Then the second one is on a general view of the EC registration process. Then the third one from Joy is using the offline system, people being bused to other constituencies, then some arrests purported to have been in Ashanti region. And then the last one is if EC refuses to allow us to take the serial numbers. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, the first question. We're talking about EC's denial. Yes. They, and they, 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 they've gone over their own words several times, and this is not the first thing. And that is how the integrity of the commission keeps declining. Because they will say one thing, then when they are pushed, they will come and then change, and then say another thing, and so on and so forth. I don't want us to go back to the declaration of national election results seven times. They have the Guinness Book of Record <laughs> for that. That is declaratory. <laughs> <laughs> Guinness Book of Record, the only commission that has declared the results seven different times. The same results, same figures, seven times. So that is the problem. When the issue was raised, you see, there's always a problem between uh, some confusion between the, the, the terminology of BVDs and BVRs. One is biometric voter registration equipment. That is BVR, biometric voter registration. So that is what is used to capture the names. And then the other one, when the names are captured and it comes to election time, then they will load the names of a particular polling station onto a small equipment and all the data, your fingerprints, everything onto it. The purpose is that they must verify that you are the person who was captured with the BVR earlier on. So this one, the smaller one, is called biometric verification device. So one is BVR, one is BVD. So when the press conference when the issue was raised in Parliament, the minority leader referred to BVDs. Then the matter was still young. So that was what the Electoral Commission came out to say that there were no missing BVDs and that the minority leader was lying. Then we called for, uh, uh, in that response, then they said that it's not BVDs, rather it is BVR, some components of the BVR laptops that are attached to the BVRs. And then we said that that is even more dangerous than the missing BVDs. So we called for a meeting IPAC meeting so we can all discuss and find out. At the meeting, it now turned out that both BVDs and BVR components had been missing. So you see how they kept shifting the goalposts. It was discovered at that meeting where Dr. Manibuama answered the 30, uh, asked the 35 questions, that some BVDs were also missing. And then they said that, oh, they were destroyed in some constituencies. They mentioned Takwa and some other places. 
Then we say, ah, if they were damaged, at least we can, uh, we, we, we must show us the debris. The then they turn around now to say that they were not damaged, they were missing. So now, beginning from five BVRs, which they, uh, BVDs, which they, 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 they denied, it has turned out now that I think seven BVRs cannot be accounted for, and then a two, two or three or so BVDs can also not be accounted for. So that is the commentary of the honesty or otherwise of your commission. Then somebody said, have you started collecting the numbers? Yes. yes. And the numbers, the collection of the numbers had been ongoing throughout the country. It was the Ashanti Regional Director who was resisting yesterday. yesterday. And then we felt that he was doing the wrong thing. So our directors reported him to the headquarters, only for the headquarters to turn around the whole country's instructions to now go and follow what the Ashanti Regional Director is doing. And that's why he said that it is wrong. It is palpably wrong because this is a measure to help us. If we cannot track the missing ones, we we'll make sure that they, are, they cannot be used to manipulate the genuine ones that we are still having. So if we cannot track the missing ones, let us protect those that we have. And let us uh, de uh, follow their deployment to ensure that even if any of the missing ones is deployed somewhere else, their records cannot enter the national database. Now, the switch to offline. It wasn't discussed, was it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't discussed. They just decided to do what they want to do. That they suddenly the internet is not working. You remember when there was an internet shut off? There were people who were raising issues that is this not related to the incoming elections? And then everybody say, oh, this one there is from a cable somewhere. Has the cable been repaired or not repaired? And how come that we start registration on May 7, and May 7 is where you have your internet disruptions? So these are all some of the questions that we need to answer. So the switching from online to offline is uh, a decision they have taken. But this press conference is about one specific issue. In the coming days, we will give you a fuller account of what has happened and our impressions about how the registration is going. There are issues about security, issues about many, many things, which we will discuss. Then the basin of persons. Basin is an offense. Everybody knows it. But see, the problem in this country is that when there is an issue and there's the need for stakeholders to engage, to find a common solution. At that point, letter commission will say, oh, we are independent. We will do what we want. We will do what we want. When problems start coming, then they will be pointing at uh,
political parties. It is a problem of weak law enforcement. Basin is an illegal activity according to our electoral laws. But who enforces that law? We have raised an issue that the enforcement of electoral laws or lack of it has been a cause of electoral violence in this country. So let us find a solution to it. This was one of the reasons why the National Peace Council engaged us in series of meetings and so on, and they ended up, government's response was that we are going to pass more laws. The laws have been passed. They are on the paper. Are they checking any violence anywhere? So the problem is law enforcement. It's not about more laws or lack of laws. So Basin is illegal. But it's only government that enforce criminal laws. And the government state institutions will tell you, oh, these are election matters. So the attitude of some of our state security is either they go in in a biased manner attacking supporters of one party, or else they declare their neutrality between good and evil. See nothing, hear nothing, do nothing. Then those who have the backing of state power now we engage in impunity to do whatever they want. So you're asking me what will we do if they don't allow us to pick the numbers? Please, are you a Ghanaian? <laughs> <laughs> this is not about NDC. We are talking about the integrity of the elections of this republic. So answer the question yourself. Because you put a commission in place. You pay them with your taxpayers. If they are doing things that are wrong, and you are convinced that they are wrong, do you leave it to one political party to go and, and correct? That's why we are involving everybody. And you all have power. The power of the media is formidable. If you want to use it in the interest of the state, it can correct a lot of things. The same way, if you abuse it, it can destroy a nation. So you cannot be completely innocent about whatever destruction that has happened in the past seven years. But it's a story for another day. And the arrest in Ashanti region, we all heard it as a news flash this afternoon. So we are yet to find out who was arrested, where they were arrested, and so on. So we are unable to uh, give any comment that is based on facts. Uh, and then our impression, I've already indicated that this is something that if we don't correct, can create problems. So we decided to focus the whole press conference on this particular issue. So let us chew and swallow this one. And then in the coming days, we'll give you our general impression about what is going on. In fact, there are a lot of things that are going wrong. But Electoral Commission is also a human institution. So if they start something, that will take 21 days. We have sufficient patience to wait for a certain considerable number of days before we can undertake an assessment and then be able to develop trends and be able to communicate meaningfully. Because there's something you are beginning, something can happen today, then within the next hour is corrected. So we'll look at them and see how they correct the few things, the things that have been pointed out. So 
Thank you very much, and may God bless our homeland. All right, thank you very much. So this brings us to the end of the press conference. The media can wait. We'll get back to you. Thank you.